And now I need an assistant. Who's a helper? Me! Yes, well done. So we're going to start this over here. What are you watching? We're going to start this over here. And then, can my helper please hold the marble? So can my helper drop the marble into the bowl? And we're going to send the marble going round and round. Wait, we have to leave the marble alone. We go round. Ah. And see how easily that moves. Yay! Yay. See, it's moving very simply. Yes, go on. You hit, you hit it around the side of the bowl. Of the bowl. Yay! Let's keep it in the baking tray. And send it round as quick as you can. Yes, go on. Now that's going very smoothly, isn't it? Very fast, isn't it? Yeah. It's going very smoothly, isn't it? It's going really fast. Yes, it's going very fast. Right, now let's show you another little thing, another little surprise. So if we take this out and then we put a towel in. Now we all know a towel is a bit bumpy. A towel can be a bit bumpy. Now that's going to add extra friction or extra something for you to work around. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we put a towel in there? Okay. Is it going to go smoothly? It won't. Yeah. It won't. Did you say it won't? Yeah. Will it go smoothly? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Right. Can you try and push that? Oh. Yeah. It's not going as smoothly, is it? It's only going slow. It's going very, very slowly, and that's because the towel is adding friction to the movement of the marble. Oh, yeah. Yes. You don't like the towel, do you? Okay, let's take the towel out. We don't like the towel. So that's one texture, and that's giving it friction. Now let's put Yay. in the felt paper. What do people think? If we put in the felt paper, is that going to go fast or is that going to go slowly? Very slow. Very slowly. Oh, yes, it's going very, very slowly, isn't it? It's not going. It's not going very fast at all, is it? Maybe let's take it off. Now when you take away the felt paper, you've removed the friction. So the ball can move easily. Now let's do something else as well, girls. Let's do something where we put obstacles <laughs> in front of it. Now we've added some more objects. What do you think is going to happen? Are these going to get in the way or will it keep on going smoothly? It's bumping into them, isn't it? And cracking! Yes, yeah, so it's crashing into them and it stops it from going where it wants to go. So when there's something in the way, your marble can't get through them. Let's keep moving them around so they're on the edges. Oh, you will. There. And there, try moving your marble there, now. There. There. But if it bumps into the buttons, it doesn't move anymore, does it? And then we move them again. So when there's an object in front of it, it stops the marble from moving. Where's the glitter? What do you want glitter for? For death. Glitter for the marble. <laughs> I suppose glitter works for everything, doesn't it? But not the marble. We're not putting glitter because glitter goes everywhere. Yeah. But, glitter. so we did our little experiment with different textures to see 
if the different textures give friction to our marble. Now, which was your favorite? You just like the marble on its own? Why do you like the marble on its own? Because I like it that way. Oh, because there's nothing in its way stopping it from moving. So that's our little experiment on friction. And so we know when it's a smooth baking tray, the marble just goes round and round and round and round. And round. I like it, it bread.